will see the non drug treatment for snake bites we will start with first aid for snake bites first immobilization or splinting of the affected limb do not move the limb that has been bitten the more it is moved the faster the poison spreads tie the person on a stretcher and tie the limb to a straight piece of wood if ice is available wrap pieces in cloth and place it around the bite clean the wound and reassure the patient followed by bed rest reassure and keep warm assess the patient's airway breathing and circulation abc of rhesus tyson clean site of bite with antiseptic lotion or soap and water do not attempt to suck or make any incisions at the site of bite leave wound open punctured wounds are specially likely to be infected if the snake is identified as non poisonous or there is a absence of swelling or systemic signs after 6 hours reassure the patient do surgical debridement when required now we will see the drug treatment for snake bite on the arrival at the emergency department secure a wide bore intravenous assess based on the degree of severity in anticipation for the treatment of shock or in case blood transfusion is needed start with polyvalent anti snake serum ass have a rhesus citation tray ready including adrenaline onist 1000 or intramuscular epinephrine and intravenous chlorpheniramine give test to 0.2 ml subcutaneously test for any anaphylaxis polyvalent anti snake serum 5200 to 100 ml by 2 to 10 ampules depending on the severity by intravenous strip in 0.9% normal saline or 5% dextrose over 2 to 4 hours monitor signs and repeat as required administer more slowly initially and monitor closely for any anaphylaxis if any itching rash or restlessness fever cough or difficult breath develop then stop polyvalent anti snake serum and give epinephrine 0.1 ml per kg of onis to 1000 or 0.1 ml per kg of onis to 10000 solution subcutaneously and intramuscular or iv or subcutaneous chlorpheniramine 250 mg per kg when the patient is stable then restart ass infusion slowly more ass should be given after 6 hours if there is a recurrence of blood in coagulability or after 1 to 2 hour if the patient is continue to bleed briskly or patient has deteriorating neurotoxic or any cardiovascular sign blood transfusion should not be required if ass is given ass is more effective if delivered within 4 hours on the bite and is of little value if administration is delayed beyond 12 hours moreover first line is uh, ass plus there are some drugs may required like painkiller we may need uh, tetanus toxi tt intramuscularly 0.5 ml once per primary or booster immunization plus for pain paracetamol 500 to 1000 mg orally 4 to 6 times a day alternative for severe pain 
Thanks for watching the video. If you like the content, please do subscribe our channel and click the like button. Thank you.